Hello and welcome to Real Tech Tips episode 6. Today we'll be talking about how to use TeamViewer. TeamViewer is basically a remote access supported over the internet. So basically you can access your computer from anywhere with simply installing the software on both the systems that you are using to communicate with each other. I already have it installed here on my virtual machine there. As you can see it's already running there. And I will just download it on my desktop here. You can download the software at TeamViewer.com. I will leave the address in the sub bar. So just download a copy of that and once that is completed you just start the installer there and then run it and you have the option here so just install it and then use it for personal use non-commercial and just agree to the terms there and just pick a normal installation and then you should see it installing here so just give that a moment it should be done fairly quickly and once that is completed it should be on your start menu here it will also create an icon on your desktop so as you can see here, once you load up the program, you'll get an ID and a password. If you're connecting to the other system here, let me just show you here, you'll have this ID here. So all you have to do is write down this ID on your team viewer here in order to connect to it and just hit connect to partner. <laughs> and just give that a second to load up and it'll ask for a password. You'll get a different password every time you start up the program. You'll get a randomly generated four digit code. So in this case it's 4871. So I just click log on there and I am connected to my other system. And that's all there is to it. As you can see right now I can manipulate the system. Let me just show, show you there. As you can see I have my mouse moving there while I'm in TeamViewer and you do need TeamViewer on both the systems for this to work one to connect and one to host the server and that is all there is to TeamViewer thanks for watching Real Tech Tips and I will see you next time please thumbs up comment and subscribe